Well, it's Tuesday, and Jay, you know what that means? What? It's time to feature another small business. Now, if you live in Texas, you probably love barbecue, Absolutely. but if you live in West Texas, then you're really going to love this place. Husband, wife, niece, and nephew. <laughs> Serving up some of the best barbecue in the country. The quintessential family-run small business barbecue runs in Brantley Creek's blood. I have a passion for barbecue since I was young. My grandfather kind of instilled it in me. Uh, that's all he did. He, I remember his smoky backyard and he cooked all the time. I love the smell, the crackle of the wood, uh, and people's smile on their face. After riding the booms and busts of the oil field, the McPhersons decided to take the barbecue business full time. It was you know, nerve-wracking. Nerve we, we don't know nothing about opening a food truck, so yeah, it was slow and then it slowly grew. Uh, it was scary. I would wake up, what am I doing? This, I can't pay bills like this, because it was a struggle. It was a struggle for a while. Now Brantley Creek is consistently selling out with lines around the corners. Still the same love, um, hard work or not, long days, long nights, early mornings, I still love it. And two and a half years later, Brantley Creek Barbecue is getting ready to open up a brick and mortar spot on Faudry coming this winter. Your hard work's starting to pay off. We're excited. Um, finally get some more space. Um, the trailer, you know, it's kind of tight in there. We'll have a large smokehouse, big smokers. From a backyard passion to a bona fide business. Brandon's grandfather may not be here to see it in person, but. He would be aesthetic, yeah, for sure. Great food and great people. Now, if you want to try their barbecue, you can follow Brantley Creek on Facebook for information on where their truck will be parked and also updates on that upcoming restaurant. And then don't forget, every Tuesday, we are featuring one small business. So let us know which business you'd like to see featured next and then tune in every Tuesday for more places to go and things to do. They're sold out most times too. Keep Almost that in mind. always, yeah.